Welcome to Real Tree Global Hunting on Team Wild TV. Now, as you've seen lately, we've been bringing you some of the coolest hog hunting videos from our friends at L3 Outdoors in Texas. Those guys live and breathe hog hunting, whether it's with a sword, a knife. or a rifle. Well, we're back with them again for another hunt in the dead of the Texan night. And this time, Joshua has a special friend along for the ride. The White Brothers have been out for a stalk in the daylight looking for coyotes, but without any joy. They tried to call in the coyotes, stalked the bushes, but eventually they ran out of light. However, it's when darkness falls that these guys operate best, and so they're back out with the dogs looking for feral hogs on a familiar patch. Well, we came out and made a couple stands for the property owner and tried to call some coyotes in. They had a calf killed, and uh, we didn't have any luck with that, so we have the dogs with us. What we're going to do is, uh, Mitch has never gone with us with the dogs. Um, so now we're going to break the dogs out. We had Ian down here, and uh, we went back up behind a feeder that has a, a, uh, a tank on it, and we found these pigs bedded down in the tank. So what we're hoping is that we'll get lucky and catch those pigs in the same spot. And when we busted them with Ian, there was a big group of them. So hopefully they'll, they'll just, you know, creatures of habit, and they'll be in the same spot. Once all the dogs are suited and booted, the boys head off out into the darkness. It's literally minutes and the dogs have taken off, so the boys get running. The pig squeals into the darkness as the boys dart through the brush. When they arrive, the dogs have hold of a huge hog and it's wrestling with them. Mitch grabs its legs and tries to flip it over. This pig's wrestling for its life. Josh steps in with a knife and places it directly into the hog's heart. The beast's writhing subsides as he passes. That's one more problem feral hog taken out of commission by the guys at L3 Outdoors. Good teeth on that one. We're a sow. See how the side looks like. Yeah, good, good cutters on that side too. So what do you think about that, Mitch? That's, that's pretty, uh, that's the first time I've done it. You know, Hunter's been out here with you a couple times. He swore by it. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Now the White Brothers drag the hog back to the truck and tie him up ready for the trip home. It's been a new experience for Mitch and Josh is keen to discuss with him the experience of hunting hogs with a knife. So this is the first time you've ever been. Your son's been with us. Yeah, I've been, I've been pig hunting all my life, but this is the first time I've been after dark with dogs. And it was definitely an experience. It was yeah. fun. Yeah, I've, I've done it, you know, all growing up and, mm -hmm. and everything. And my brother Mitch is just, I don't know, just never worked out the mm -hmm. way or never really been interested in it. He's more of a rifle hunter and a shooter, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, um, But we finally got you out and let you put your hands on one. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different ball game once you decide to put your hands on one like that. Yeah, you're all up in it. You're all up, yeah. up in their personal business there. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And you got to watch out. You know they're spinning around. They can throw that dog off. Yeah, she she kept going around in a circle, and the dogs. You know you're trying to dodge dogs so you can get in position and grab a hold. And then once you get your latched on, you know. Well, it's it's funny that they know that you're the business end mm -hmm. of the deal. Mm -hmm. They'll completely ignore the dogs just to come to you. Right. You know they know that you're. They know what you're yeah. there for. You well, know? if you if you probably if you see that video. You'll see that uh, you know she kept trying to turn to face me, 
while the dogs are trying to control her. Right. You know, and I'm trying to get behind her, and she keeps spinning to face me. You know. Right. And these are really young dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you can get away with a lot more with an older dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they did good. They found them right away. And I was I was very impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Hunting feral hogs in the dead of the night, armed only with a blade, is a truly heart racing experience, as it's evident on the faces of all who attempt it. And it's definitely not for the faint hearted. The guys at L3 Outdoors are dedicated to hunting feral hogs by any means necessary, as they attempt to help rid the Texan brush of such problematic, destructive, and large pests. The feral hog numbers in Texas are huge. As the pigs overrun the state and breed, so many numbers in such a short space of time. It's guys like L3 Outdoors that are helping to readdress the balance. Good work guys, it's a tough job but someone has to do it. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for more Extreme Hoggers action over the coming months as well as our all new lineup for 2013.